Hi, I'm McGill, and this is Things You Can Do in Space Station Silicon Valley. Episode 16, Something Fishy. I'm going to show you a way we can skip the major puzzle in this level using a trick I call Cod Escape. We can jump over this barrier to get to the switch that opens the door to the teleporter, and after that we beach ourselves on the ramp and spam R. If we get lucky, we hop out of the cod, which allows us to walk up the ramp and hit the switch as Evo. This lets us skip having to lower the water, kill the walrus, use the walrus for this objective, and then raise the water again. So basically the whole level. While we get back into the fish and onto the next thing you can do, the background music for this episode is a piano cover of Ice and Easy Does It by Edith M. Link in the description. Something Fishy has the same background music as Ice and Easy Does It, so we're mixing it up. Big thanks to Edith for the music, and if you like what you hear, then definitely check out more of Edith's work. And now onto thing you can do number two. What you have to know for this one is the analog stick reset feature on the N64. If you push L, R, and start, the system will reset the neutral position of the analog stick to its current position. If we reset the neutral position to any direction by holding that direction and pushing L, R, and start, we can then go beyond the normal range of the analog stick, which I think is 90 maybe, and go to the maximum range of 128 in the opposite direction. This mostly does nothing in SSSV, except if you play as a fish. The maximum vertical speed for the fish is not limited to 90 like it is for every other animal. So neutral resetting up or down lets us swim faster, down or up, and jump higher. The jumping higher part is the important one because it lets us jump over almost anything, including this chain link fence thing here. The secret here is that there's a hole in the floor when you get up above the chain link fence, so you actually just fall back into the water by the fish tank. So that's a thing. You can jump back through the hole as well, but that's really hard, so I'm just not going to do that. And while we're here, we can also free the fish, and then go into its little tank. Doing this changes the camera so that it's not fixed directly behind us. And this is the only situation where we play as a fish, either the cod or the piranha, and don't have a fixed perspective camera. So, there we go. Now I'll magically warp back to the other side of the fence and jump over it again, this time making sure not to fall into that hole. When we are up here, we can explore a bit more, even though there's not really much to see. If we make it to the other side, then we're rewarded with another pit to fall in that will bring us back into the water. Very cool. And just in case people ask, we can also use neutral resetting to jump high enough to get over this barrier to the teleport. There's no reason to do that, because the teleporter isn't active until you raise the barrier, so why? Maybe because it's one of the things you can do in Space Station Silicon Valley. And thanks for watching. If you'd like to see some more SSSV stuff, feel free to hit that subscribe button. You can also follow me on Twitch to catch me playing this game live. That's everything for now, so sleep tight and good night.